Hi there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of June the 24th through to the 30th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. First up, we have the Page of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Seven of Pentacles reversed. And next, we have the Three of Wands in the upright, followed by the Nine of Cups in the upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Empress, upright. I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, for your overall energy, you have that of the Page of Wands in the upright position. This is a card that, well, it is a court card, first of all, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Fire Energy, that of Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. Um, the Page of Wands brings in some really good news. If some of you have been waiting for a parcel, waiting for some good news to reach you, it could possibly be this is your overall that uh, it does reach you this week. If you're waiting to hear from a message, uh, waiting to hear a message from someone, say a fire sign or any sign, it could be possible that this is the week you will hear from it. Whatever it is, it's very exciting, very passionate. For some of you, it could involve travel. Maybe you're getting some good news about travel. Perhaps somebody's offering to take you on a trip or something like that. Or this could be your travel agent, even uh, confirming some travel plans. Coming right off the hop, we have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse position. Seven of Pentacles upright. This is a card that represents heavy duty reevaluating of situations. Can be our financial situation, can be a relationship that's been long standing, can also represent um, reevaluating our work situation, uh, our home situation. When the card is inverted, we have, we're no longer reevaluating the situation. Whatever it is, uh, Taurus, if you've been taking a closer look at your job, your business, your finances, what have you, it looks like you're no longer uh, reevaluating the situation. You're coming out of that phase of uh, taking a look at it. What decision you made ultimately after taking a look at that reevaluation? Well, that's going to be different for all of you because it's just a general read after all. The card is paired up with the Three of Wands in the upright position. The Three of Wands is very progressive energy representing uh, a movement in uh, an area of your life that you've been building on. It could be for some of you, you this could be a relationship, perhaps it started off a very fast moving, passionate relationship and it's moved to the next level, the, the, the third level. And uh, you could be right on the brink of perhaps making that decision to go ahead, get married, um, settle down, buy a house, that kind of thing. For others of you, you could be building a business, uh, building, working on a project that's almost at completion. Whatever it is, this is very, very progressive energy. Now moving towards the weekend, you have the beautiful energies of the Nine of Cups in the upright position. The Nine of Cups is known as the beautiful wish card. This is this card comes up when we have been hoping and wishing for something. Now, for some of you, this could just be a small wish. Perhaps you just say, for example, wish your workload was a little bit less. Um, wish you could get the, the full weekend off, you know, to be able to enjoy. For others of you, this could be a big wish. Um, maybe your wish has something to do with um, this message that is coming in. Whatever the situation is, it looks like towards the weekend you will have some kind of wish uh, being fulfilled. However, it's also the card that does represent uh, celebrations and excess. So just be careful you don't go a little bit too overboard, Taurus. And the last card we have up here that concludes the read is the... Um, beautiful energies of Major Arcana, the Empress in the upright position. The Empress can represent a mother, a mother figure. Uh, for some of you, this can represent the head of a, a business. This could be a boss for some of you. Uh, definitely could be a friend or you even embodying the energies of the Empress in the upright. The Empress is a very helpful person. She's also known as abundance. Uh, she's known for her abundance and strong confidence. Look at the yellow in the card. It could be for some of you, maybe that's your wish. Perhaps you're um, coming into some extra cash. For others of you, this person could be um, aiding you or helping you in your career or in your work situation or even as a friend or a family member. This person is showing you a lot of compassion, caring, and understanding. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. Uh, very nice reading here for you, Taurus. I'm going to close now with 
pulling a um, chakra oracle card for you and see what other messages that spirit would like you to know. So what do you have for the sign of Taurus? We have perception is your card Taurus, perception. It's your message, whatever that means to you individually, perception. Could be a need to look at a situation from a different uh, perspective, perhaps, or maybe you have a different perception of things because you've stopped reevaluating a certain situation. Anyway, that is your reading. So I hope this helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.